I'm ready to begin pouring. My already put in the white base right there. That was my first layer. And we're gonna start alternately pouring layers um, horizontally, trying to not break the layer as you're pouring soap, try not to break the layer below it. So we're gonna use this to kind of help. So we're pouring the soap on this um, cutting board to slow it down before it hits this, the bottom uh, layer. The trick with this is your batter needs to be like a really good consistency. It can't be too thin or it's gonna all blend together before you pull up on your, your screen swirl. And yet it can't be too thick, especially with this particular screen because um, the holes are fine. It's a fine screen and it's gonna be easy for soap to get stuck uh, within each little hole. So it's, I'm using lard today to, as my base in this recipe because I find lard really slows down um, trace and it helps keep the soap fluid for longer. But I'm just giving it a few minutes to see if the soap thickens up just a bit because again, I don't want to, um, I don't want it to be too thin. And we're just going to go ahead and start pouring uh, alternate layers. So I already have my white one, my plain. And now we're going to go with our pink. Just gently pouring. And if it's not perfect, that's okay because there's gonna be enough layers um, within the soap with different colors to, it'll still pull up with a design. It doesn't need, the layers don't need to be perfectly um, done. So if you can see, there's still like, there's pink and then there's white. I'm just gonna give it a slight scrape. My batter is still slightly on the thin side. Um, but we'll keep going. It should thicken up a little bit as we go. This is my turmeric colored soap batter. And once this soap gels, it should be a nice bright yellow rather than this uh, apricot type orange color. My batter is finally starting to thicken up to the perfect consistency. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little faster. And again, I'm not worried about perfection, um, but that's just me. And if you find that your batter gets a little too thick as you're pouring, you can always just give it a stir with your spatula. It should bring it back to a, a, a more fluid texture.
We're gently going to pull up here. That's really pretty. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just put a nice uh, layer on the top um, and then once I get ready to cut the soap, which I'm going to show you when it's ready to cut, we're going to be cutting this slab into three horizontal planes. So there's, it's like three bars of soap thick. So the pattern, this, you'll see when I cut below it. But for the top, I'm just going to go ahead and um, play around with it and let's have fun with this. I still have some black and pink left over. I'm just gonna put some of that colors in these bottles. These squeeze bottles. I'm gonna throw a top on. <laughs> and I had some black left over too. I've used up all my plain and my yellow, so I've just got pink and black left. This one's kind of a big bottle, but I couldn't find my other smaller one. And let's start um, designing. Just do a, a couple and see how this works out here. Again, the pink is kind of hard to see against uh, the orange, but when, again, once it gels, the color differences should be a little more striking. And I want the top to kind of mimic the design that's going to be within the center. So just using a skewer right on the surface, I'm just going to do this. gonna cover this up <clears throat> let it gel and we'll come back in 24 hours and see what it looks like 
Okay, so it's time to cut my soap. And I kind of pre-measured where I need to cut so that the cutting does not uh, interrupt the, the design of the soap. So this is the, the end result. And we're going to go ahead and cut it. the result of this soap but it wasn't what I had in mind. I found that the soap flowed too easily through the holes in the screen in the diamond sections and so it didn't result in the design that I was going for. So we filled in the screen with um, a screen <laughs> to help make the soap flow more evenly through the whole design in hopes of making a more rounder uh, design. And this was the result of the second soap. The batter was much too thin and although there is a lot of distinction, it still wasn't the round design like I had wanted. Um, I used all the same colorants, the same recipe, the same everything. And so we tried this again uh, with a different recipe to make the soap batter thicker and this batch was too thick, although we still like the design, looks kind of like dragon eyes. We were going to try again and see if we could perfect it. The fourth time was the charm. We combined different properties from the soap recipe of the one that had been too thick and the one that had been too thin to come up with a middle ground and this was our result. 